Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark. Uh, it's a quick update on my video blog. I'm going to be posting videos uh, every other day and I hope that you will comment. I am going to have a very strict rule zero tolerance for name calling. So if you want to comment, you have to say something intelligent. You can't call people names, including myself. Um, and I would suggest that you don't even call yourself names. Don't say negative things about yourself either. Calling Dick Cheney a traitor is not calling names. Calling the Bush crime family the crime family, not calling names. Um, I'm going to refrain from calling Obama Uncle Tom Obama. I actually did apologize to the White House. I wrote them a letter and apologized. I sent them a case of Uncle Tom's cabin and uh, sent him a letter and told him I thought he was Uncle Tom Obama. And that's how that uh, derogatory phrase came out. It's kind of antithetical to my idea that you should not call names and say negative things about yourself, which is why I felt compelled to apologize. But anyways, I this is a quick video to tell everybody that I'm going to be posting very regularly, giving you my commentary and posting links to things I'd like you to look at. And hopefully I can give you some new sources of real information and real journalism like Truth, Truth Dig is a really great place. The Guardian, obviously, most people know about. Uh, and, I, you know, my focus is really anti-nuclear to expose the 90% rule, which I'll explain in the next video. But, um, you know, I am closely tied with Kevin Blanche. I basically sponsored him to come here to Eugene in 2013 to give a symposium. And after that, it just seemed logical that he should keep traveling around the country to make this the most important thing that's happened on our entire life history since we have been keeping history is the three nuclear meltdowns in Fukushima, which have not still not been stopped. They have no idea what to do with them. And they're just ignoring it, acting like it's no big deal. But that's part of the 90% rule. That's what the 90% rule is about. Um, so this is why I am going to be posting. And I'll be posting links to E&E &E News. And hopefully you people out there will not only comment on my video blog, but you will actually call your own state representatives and your own senators and your own federal representatives and the president, even if you don't like him. And, you know, we need to demand scientific truth about nuclear. Uh, Helen Caldecott is been an advocate and out there for 20 years. I think I've kind of convinced Kevin that she's not uh, as softball. She's not a softball player like the other people that just drive us crazy uh, who are now beginning to speak out against nuclear like Arnie Gunderson, who basically for two years said, well, I don't know. Kevin Camps who's like, well, maybe radiation causes harm or, you know, Chris Busby, who's, singing songs, you know, making light of it. I mean, he, they do the testing, but they're just not strong enough, or I don't know what their deal is. I, I don't get them. But the bottom line is, is uh, there are some really great advocates out there. Helen Caldecott, to me, is at the top of the pinnacle. Kevin Blanche is at the very top, like top of the pinnacle with her. You know, I, I wish that Helen Caldecott would embrace Kevin's style, which is a, abrasive. Uh, but it needs to be abrasive because these bastards have been killing us for the last 50 years and denying it. And in fact, that's exactly why I decided to get off of Facebook. Because since the cop murders have been videographed and, you know, and put up on Facebook and people are aware that in, in this country, in the United States of America, it's now legal for anybody who works for the government to work, murder anybody that they feel like. Uh, you know, with impunity, there's no, there is no, there's no indictments, much less convictions. Nobody gets indicted. There's no, there's, it's astounding to me, which is why I feel compelled to use whatever little spare time I have to create these video blogs because I want to activate the masses. And I'm talking millions of people. We need a million people calling their representatives right now saying we want indictments for the torturers. We want the truth about Fukushima. We want the cops to stop killing the citizens of the United States. You know, we want Wall Street indicted. We need people to get off their asses and start calling our elected representatives, taking to the streets, doing every single thing that you can. That's what we need. And that's what Kevin and I have been doing. 
And, you know, so hopefully we'll hear from you and, you know, you'll give us some comments that will add to the conversation, add information. And if not, you can take the information that we're going to give you and use it and get active and save our planet, save our species, because we are hanging by a thread, folks. In fact, we're probably not hanging. We're, I think we're actually on off of Niagara Falls in a barrel. And it's, it's a matter of are we going to survive? I have three grandchildren, two magnificent daughters, and I want their future to be decent. You know, we don't have another country to go to. We don't have another planet to live on. This is it. And uh, the insane people running the processes believe that they have a right to destroy our planet and kill people. Well, they don't have a right to do that. And I believe the universe supports love, generosity, kindness. And it is up to us. We need to stop doubting ourselves and saying, well, I don't know enough about it. I can't get involved because I don't know. Yes, you do. Those of you listening to my voice have a heart. You have a mind. And really, you have, you have instincts. And listen to your instincts because you know what's real and you know what's true. And we, we have power. Let's just put it to you that way. We have power. And let's exercise it. And let's be reasonable. And let's bring common sense and humanity back, back to our country and back to our world. And that's exactly why I'm not going to allow any negative comments. I mean, the first time anybody calls anybody a name, they're just going to be blocked and there's not going to be any. There's no second chance on that one for me. You have to be conscious and you have to be compassionate. You don't have to be, but you're not going to be on my site for long. So anyways, uh, I hope to see uh, more of you do your own video blogs and I look forward to your comments. And you can visit my Facebook page, which is Nuts for Art on Facebook. It's a Facebook page where I, I'm going to be posting articles. I'll be posting up my videos. And I'll be talking to you about the Post Ignorant Project's activities and talking to you about Kevin Blanche and the anti-nuclear movement as I see it, although I'm a newbie, but whatever. I Like I said, we don't have to know everything. So I'll talk to you guys later, and um, sweet dreams.